Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Wednesday. In just a few minutes, you'll probably hear uh, a few roosters telling you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wake up. It's time to get up and get out of bed and enjoy a beautiful day, at least up in this neighborhood. Hopefully where you are, too. Hey, uh, we are looking at our very last passage that we're going to be having from the book of Hebrews for quite a while in our Revised Common Lectionary. Uh, we had a big chunk of it uh, uh, last year, and then uh, now a big chunk this year, and we're going to be done for a while. And we have, uh, it's its the last part of, if you recall, a sermon. This, this whole book, many believe, was originally a sermon that was put on pen and paper or uh, ink and papyrus, however you want to put it, and circulated amongst the churches. And, uh, well, it's kind of interesting. You might recall that just before this, we've talked about heroes of the faith. Uh, we've talked about people going through intense persecution and making their way through. And now we're in that final little... Uh, and and in conclusion, you know, part of a sermon. <clears throat> and what what's going on here? Well, it almost as pe appears as though this sermon was written for a group of people that have been through tough times and really difficult moments. But now things are kind of quieted down, and it's a little smooth. And the author is trying to encourage the people to remain faithful because. Admit it, it's when things are going well for you that often you kind of neglect your life of faith. You kind of neglect listening to what those scriptures have to speak to us and say to us and uh, fall by the wayside. Just, just listen to how this goes on. Starting in chapter 13, verses 1 through 8, um, let mutual love continue. Okay. Let mutual love, mutual love, that's the Greek word that we get Philadelphia from, it's philios. Okay, that kind of, um, that kind of love, which is brotherly and sisterly love amongst siblings, now extended to the Christian family as well, okay? Then it says, don't neglect to show hospitality to strangers, okay? Don't neglect that. Well, you've been doing it. Now, don't stop doing it. Just because things are easy doesn't mean you take your foot off the gas pedal. Now, no, you keep driving forward. Uh, and it's interesting to have a little, little reference to Abraham giving refuge to some uh, strangers who happened to show up in his doorstep. You know, that whole Sodom and Gomorrah story. Okay, we have that going on. Uh, remember those... Uh, who are in prison. Yeah, because back then, prisons weren't run by the state. Uh, well, they sort of were, but they sure weren't maintained by the state because they never fed the prisoners. Maybe just a little bit of bread and water. So if you wanted your family members or friends who were there in prison to survive, you had to look after them. You did. All right. Um, let's see here. Remember those who are being tortured? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there are still those undergoing persecution. But it says, remember how you were tortured. So you're not being tortured anymore. So evidently, yeah, this is a, a quieter moment for many of the Christians. Let marriage be held in honor by all and let the marriage um, be kept undefiled. All right, so yeah. Again, when things are hunky-dory and going just fine, you maybe you tend to let down your guard a little bit and let some of those uh, feelings that you have for other people run unabated and in the wrong direction. Okay, so take care of that. Um, and it, it goes on in that vein for a while. So, so these are admonitions to be faithful and to be loving and kind people. And don't forget who you are and who you belong to. All right, so it goes through um, verse 8. It has a little thing here, too, of remembering though your leaders. And they're not talking about political leaders at this point. They're talking about those who lead you in your life of, of faith, your worship life. Those, and, and these are basically house churches that we have everywhere at this point. 
uh, the, the Christians really aren't allowed in the synagogues anymore. See, they still consider themselves Jewish, but they weren't allowed there because they were Jesus followers. Boom. So they were kicked out. So remember those who are leading you through all these uh, tough times and dark times, but now the good times as well. Keep that in mind. We have a bunch of verses that are lectionary skips because it gets in this whole thing about sacrifices and it's it's kind of hard to understand. And really, I tried to look up in, in different um, commentaries and even the commentaries didn't quite understand what all this uh, talk about the blood and this and that it's it's kind of difficult to understand so our lectionary writers decided we're just going to skip it for now until we get a little more um understanding of, of what's going on there but it does come out in the end to this um where it says do not neglect to do good and share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to god so all this talk about the Old Testament type sacrifices, the sacrifices that we really need to do and to pay attention to are sharing and caring for others around us, okay? And again, it gets into obeying your leaders and submit to them and, and it goes all the way through to the end. There's a, a, a benediction and final exhortation that aren't part of our reading for this Sunday. But you see how this whole sermon now comes to a conclusion and it's one that's encouraging the people to hang in there to stay awake not to fall asleep at the wheel because as the letter has been telling us this sermon you know, Jesus is there watching over us taking care of us and he is coming again so be be ready be prepared all right well it is a an awesome day out there and you know, all my animals are saying look at that look at that sunshine shining on that on that coop and on that one there they're saying please 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 feed us and that's what i'm going to do god's blessings be with you on this grand and glorious day